right, what's going on, guys? It's Chad. We're chilling. Uh, doing something a little different today, though, because, uh, I don't know. I really don't feel like doing multiplayer right now so everyone that's been subscribing over the past few days thank you so much anyone that's joined the channel as a member and all that stuff i appreciate you guys thank you it's been a good day i woke up feeling pretty refreshed and uh I, I realize that I'm more than halfway done with this grind, and I'm like, I'm just acting way more miserable than I really am. It's just like, dude, this shit is simple. It's just time. It's just time. It's exhausting, but it is just time. To be fair, I did wake up in a nice, like, 45, 50 degree air, nice and cold. Fills up my lungs. Feels good. They're back in here refreshed, and, uh, we ended up actually getting a great playlist update. Boom, Shiphouse 24-7 is back. And also, like I was saying before, I believe in yesterday's video or the one before that, I mentioned that I'm pretty sure uh, all of the uh, studios and stuff are gonna be kind of like on vacation uh, for this week. It was already set, which is expected around like holidays and stuff like that, I guess. But I'm gonna be seeing my family around Thanksgiving, which is cool. We don't really celebrate Thanksgiving itself, I guess, but... Yeah, we see each other, so whatever. We'll just show up, I don't know. <laughs> and also, they ended up bringing back double XP. Uh, I, I guess maybe they do this for, I don't know if it's gonna be for the whole weekend again, or if it's only gonna be just a couple days, like Black Friday or something. I, I would assume it would make sense for it to go all the way until Monday. Was it Wednesday to Monday? Oh, we're, we're grinding. We're grinding. Now, here's the thing. We got Ship House, we got double XP and all that. Now, here's the funny part. I was watching Jay God's uh, video, and he was, like, live streaming and stuff, and he's actually doing this one strat over on Zombies, where I haven't played zombies. I have not really played zombies before. I've already done this run a couple times already. But basically, the strat for weapons that are really not that great. Oh, yeah, by the way, hold on. I have the claws are gold, so I only have the uh, machine pistol left. And there's a lot of people that are talking about how bad the machine pistol actually is. And it's not as bad as people were explaining it, but... Yeah, it's not that great. So, the weapons that aren't so great to level up without attachments and stuff like that, you could go over into zombies, run a solo match, literally within the first round, go and kill 35 zombies, leave the game, and then repeat. Well, considering how consistent it is anyway, this mathematically is supposed to be faster than just grinding multiplayer. Because in multiplayer, you know, you gotta worry about getting the spawn trap going, you gotta worry about how many kills you're gonna get, what kind of lobbies you're gonna get. Over on here, you just run up to the zombies, melee them all doesn't matter they're all gonna be one hit you're almost never in danger uh i forget which portal you're supposed to pick i think it's like harvest or something this is not my true zombies attempt or play or anything like that by the way and honestly i mean zombies at the moment is very very underwhelming from what i know so i have six eliminations i killed 29 more zombies just by meleeing them and after that 35th kill i guess the uh xp plummets like crazy you don't have to do the objective or anything you literally just run into the zombies and shit on since double xp is on it's extra efficient i think with or without the double xp thing it's still supposed to be faster but this is incredibly i wouldn't even call this mind numbing because you're not even actually doing anything being numbed kind of has the idea that like you just experience so much of a feeling that you're now numb to it on here there's no feeling at all since zombies itself kind of has like virtually no identity at the moment uh, in vanguard without that whole map we need a round based map with actual like story and shit i know there is a story but not really 34 and 35 36 37 that's inefficient i'm leaving and then we queue up again my gun leveled up i did not think that they would actually bring back the double xp though I, that's really surprising it's really nice but it's really surprising <laughs> What the fuck? You see that commando lunch? Those guys at the beginning, six zombies go into a portal, preferably harvest, and you go and melee 20 some of them again. GG! This is from the campaign, isn't it? I haven't played the campaign yet, but I remember in like the trailers, I remember this windmill. Well, 25. One thing that's annoying is that you can't actually put surplus on your weapon uh, in zombies. You should be able to do that. Why not? Surplus is so good. Thank you so much for the max ammo. I really needed it. 35. Goodbye. You get the gist of it. You do that over and over and over again until you get your weapon up to like 60, 65 maybe. If you start out at 60, even though you're not getting progress on the camos, I'm aware of that. But even though you're not getting progress on the camos, you still are capped by those last three. So if you get there at 60, you can start at least with that 60 challenge and everything else that's linked to it, it all get done if what it feels like a lot more efficiently to me usually i'm really hard-headed about it and don't really use these kind of cheese strategies but it's really not that cheesy i mean it's not like it's giving too much xp it's just really funny that with double xp and ship house this this is the way to get to the ars and things like that i don't think i'm gonna do every weapon like this i haven't done any up until this point with this machine pistol so if the double xp wasn't on i probably wouldn't 26, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
and we have 40 round mags. What the fuck? I mean, this thing definitely needs more uh, bullets, that's for sure, but uh, it's really confusing that they don't have a hardcore ship house playlist. I just don't understand why the hardcore community is getting completely shafted in terms of like playlists. It's really weird. I mean, I guess maybe the hardcore community just isn't big enough to them and they just. I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself a part of the hardcore community, but I'd be lying if I said that I didn't play a shit ton of hardcore in these camo grinds. Like, I played a lot. Not nearly as much as I did with, uh, shipment, core shipment on, uh, Modern Warfare. I don't think I'm ever gonna play a game that much ever again, to be honest with you. Never should have done that obsidian shit. And then on top of the fact that, like, half of the weapons are still, like, glitched and bugged or whatever, you can't, like, do anything with them. It is what it is. Just gonna take advantage of this double XP as much as I possibly can. It's what everybody should do, and, uh... Yeah. Shit, I was reminded very quickly of how slow it went without it. Zombies just standing around? What are we doing, man? Come. 1137 XP is currently on this. I'm gonna need about 700 to get the level, so I'll add 700 to whatever is left. I think the story could be really interesting. It's just that I don't know how much of a storyboard they actually have drawn up for this shit. Warzone playlist update. Thirty-five. So I basically got exact full levels. I have Blitz, Blitz, and Transmit. From what I know, I think Blitz is actually not very good. I'm gonna try Transmit. Should be fine. Remember how intimidated I was of zombies before this, and then to realize how like shallow the zombies experience actually is, and then to have it reduced down to this kind of just. Oh man. We can only hope that the first actual round-based map is actually good. Please. Any more. Oh, it's you three. Look at that. What the fuck? Ugh, I feel like I could literally just like fall asleep doing this shit. Literally do this on autopilot and then over here you just got a show going or a stream or something. You're just fucking... You can't wait to familiar. This is very efficient, I must say. And see, you guys are here in the audio right now. I'll straight out mute the entire game. I don't give a fuck. I don't know if you guys have seen it sometimes, but you'll notice sometimes whenever you, uh, like, I'm scrolling through the menus, I have my, like, overall master volume on two whenever I'm playing shipment. I just, it's just sensory overload. I know that there's explosions. I know there's players. I, I'm done. I'm tired of listening. Does that make sense? I get it. Everything's exploding. Can't hear footsteps most of the time, so it's no point. Honestly, I prefer it. So just buff XP if they're gonna add double weapon XP every day. I mean, this isn't uncommon. This usually happens during Thanksgiving slash Black Friday weekend. So it's not uncommon. Sometimes like 10 zombies will spawn and then other times there's just like five. Really weird. Complete the challenges to unlock a preview of your next Warzone. That's a little event in a uh, Warzone where you can kind of do like the... The shit that everybody does not plunder. Run around and plunder and like collect clues and shit like that. Like nobody... Whatever. You've already basically seen Caldera. To a certain degree. Oh, so, uh, I mean, I don't know how much anyone really cares about unlocking the calling cards either, but I have this idea in my head that Atomic is actually going to end up looking different in Warzone specifically. You have it happen all the time. I know that it's supposed to be the same engine, blah, 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 but a part of me just feels, hmm. I'll be very surprised if everything looks like it's one-to-one -one transferring everything. Also, how does Damascus or Obsidian and stuff look this way? When people are using those unlock tools and stuff like that and taking guns from other games and like putting them on different guns in another game and shit like that. Like uh, Dark Matter weapons in Modern Warfare, uh, Damascus weapons in Cold War and things like that. I'm curious if everything is going to be on this engine. Will that change the look of Damascus and Dark Matter since they're not on the same engine? Kind of how we saw the differences in how Dark Matter looked on Cold War to Warzone. It's the same generally the way that it looks, but it's... It's not completely the same. Technically speaking, by doing this, I'm getting a head start on the zombies grind. To be honest with you guys, though, zombies is just so unappealing at the moment that I, I don't know if I'm going to immediately go in the dark either. I I'm going to be real. 32. I mean, we've already leveled up a good amount in just a few minutes. I, I, there's no stress at all. The biggest stress I had is just trying to figure out what the fuck to think of the say. 38, oh, got a dip. See, for the longest time, I sat around and talked about like, oh, you gotta do like the, the no brain activity builds over on shipment, for example. My hardcore shipment uh, hip fire builds, where I literally wouldn't even ADS, I'm done aiming. I'm done even thinking about it. I'm just gonna sit there and hold right trigger and just look in different directions. This is an even lower tier of that. We're not even firing anymore. I might do this for the levels for the sniper rifles. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I might do that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I'll have to find a show to watch. <laughs> Anyone got any suggestions? This is really it. I'm not joking. It doesn't even matter if they hit me. And if I do die, I just restart anyway. Another two minutes. You get the gist of it. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go grind. GG's, it's a good game. Man, zombies is... 
I am so sorry about what happened to zombies this year, guys. Holy fuck. 